Dear student, today we will talk about financial planning problem and formulation. So we will see that there are two uh, kinds of formulation. One is the transportation and another is a financial problem uh, formulation. So we will see that how we can solve this kind of formulation. So in this one, what is the most important thing is that you will be given a text, okay, a paragraph, okay. From the paragraph, you need to extract your objective function and constraints, right, including the non-negativity constraint. So let's suppose I have been given a, you have been given a, a paragraph, and in that paragraph, it says that uh, there is a bank and it gives a loans to the clients. Let's suppose for real estate or for mortgages or for um, home improvement or personal uh, loan whatever right so let's suppose there is a loan for example maximum uh, lending capability by a bank is let's suppose uh, 215 million dollar it has right and they want to give the loans why because definitely every bank wants to get the um, profit right okay so but there is some constraint on that one okay the first constraint it says that the bank has a maximum foreseeable lending capability of 250 million and is further constrained by the by the policy right okay and the first mortgage and it says the first mortgage must be at least 55 percent of all the mortgage issued and at least 25 percent of all the loans issued right and the second mortgage cannot exceed 20, 28 percent of all the loans issues right and then the last constraint it gives to avoid public displeasure and introduction of the new wind and new fall tax the average interest rate on all the loan must not exceed 15 percent right so now let's see how can we uh, like you know uh, formulate that one and how can we uh, write it so uh, as far as the objective function is is there so there are like you know four uh, constraints like for example uh, for the first mortgage uh, like the the uh, the percentage is 14 percent as you can see 14 percent so 14 percent you can write like you know mathematically for example if i say 14 percent divided by 100 so it is 0 0.15 right and similarly if you write this one uh, 20 divided by 100 so that is 0 0.2 and if you write uh, 20 divided by 100 it's 0 0.2 as well okay and this one is 10 divided by 100 and it is 0 0.1 so you see over here so when i write my objective function what i do it i write x1 so x1 here multiply with this one so i need to multiply x1 with the 0 0.14 so here you can see so this value this is my first uh, component of my objective function right and the second one is for example 20 percent for the second mortgage is 0 0.2 x2 this is my second component of my objective function because my uh, my uh, my main objective is to create an objective function right so the z uh, the third one is x3 so x3 is 0 0.2 so x2 and x3 is same both are 0 0.2 which is 20 percent while x4 is 10 percent which is 0 0.1 right so you just need to add them and that is your objective function so objective function is very very easy the tricks uh, which is lying in is it uh, in constraint right so in constraint you must be like you know very uh, careful okay so the first constraint is that one the first constraint is mean that all the loan x1 x2 all the loan it should the maximum should be 250 uh, million let's suppose right so the 250 million uh, is there okay so that is the total loan so the total uh, lending lending money so i would not say loan it's a lending money by the bank right so the total is with this million right okay maximum lending money right so now for the first constraint uh, so this is it should be equal or less than uh, 250 million dollar right okay now um, in like in the second like you know uh, in the text in the paragraph it says that um, uh, the first mortgage so my first mortgage is x1 right okay it says the first mortgage must be at least at least means like you know it should be like you know the equal equal and greater than sign over there uh, 55 percent so 55 percent means so when i say 55 percent it means 55 divided by 100 so that is 0 0.55 so so they say that x1 should be equal and greater than 
55% of both mortgages. So we have two mortgages. So there are four like you know kind of loans. The total loans are four, but inside the loans we have first two mortgages, right? But the, the rest of the two are not mortgages. This is for for maintenance if you want to like you know if your house is old for improving your house they give you 20 percent loan or personal overdraft like for personal reason they give you so four different kinds of loan okay so that is like you know the second constraint we have already done that one in the second constraint there is another like you know second clause in the second clause it says that uh, it says that uh, at least of all the loans issues so we we'll say the first mortgage must be at least 55 percent of all the all the mortgages all the mortgage there are two mortgages so that's why x1 and x2 uh, and the second clause it says that at least 25 percent of all the loans all the loans yes so in that one in that case it would be x1 x2 x3 x4 okay so 25 percent as i as i told you 25 divided by 100 so it will be 0 0.25 so it's easy right now for the next constraint it says that uh, uh, the second mortgage cannot exceed okay so the wording are very much important you must like you know focus more on the wording like right? the second mortgage cannot exceed so it means it's less than an equal right 28 percent of all the loans issues so again all the loans so when i say all the loans so it means from x1 to x4 here also all the loans x1 to x4 when i say all the mortgages so there are two mortgages right so there are not four mortgages so mortgages are two but loans are four right so this must this is a very tricky point here you must like you know be careful in it okay the next one is the last one is again a very tricky uh constraint and it ta it talks about the, to avoid the public displeasure and introduction of the new windfall tax the average interest rate on all the loan must not exceed 15 percent formulate the bank loan problem as LP so as to maximize the interest right and uh, here you can, you can see over here 15 percent so all the loans so from all loans what are these loans from where we got this one this is the objective function this is all the loans right you see over here this is the all the loans okay together okay and it says that it must not exceed so must not when you say must not exceed it is equal and less than sign right so it say must not must not exceed so the wording are when say must not exceed is equal in this sign okay for this uh, for like you know for this equal and greater than sign what was the word like you know must be at least okay so say say must be at least must be at least so these words are important right okay and must be at least so when these are the word then you have to use the equal and greater than sign okay if they say must not exceed you have to use equal and less than sign this sign you have to use it right okay okay and 15 percent so I, as i told you 15 divided by 100 so it is 0 0.15 so here we put 0 0.15 and of all the loans right okay Okay, and the last one, as we know, we are as we are interested in the non-negativity, always you should not forget this one because uh, non-negativity is we say x i. So x i are we are four loans. So x i equal to one, two, three, and four, and that's it, right? And it should be must be equal and greater than zero, as I already know you're right. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.